Peace be with you. My name is Alan Kiesler. And although I'm in the United States, I'm always thinking about Pakistan, because Pakistan is not an ordinary place. And I'm also thinking about Alabama, because Alabama, meaning God with us, is not an ordinary place. And I'm also thinking about Jerusalem, especially the holy Al-Aqsa Mosque, or the Temple of Solomon, because that, of course, as everybody knows, is also a very special place. And I have been told in these three places, Pakistan, Alabama, and Jerusalem, world peace will begin. How? <laughs> when people of different religions come together and call on the names of God together, that will bring about an atmosphere of such love, love and trust, unity and harmony, <laughs> that it will lead to world peace. That's what I've been told. <laughs> so I'm just repeating what I've been told, and I'm practicing also. Uh, so this actually is the truth. The chanting of the names of God, zikr, is the solution to all the problems of the world. That is how powerful zikr is. The name of God is all-powerful. There's no difference between God and God. The full power of God is present in names of God. Of course, this chanting must be done attentively. <laughs> Otherwise, even a parrot can repeat the names of God. <laughs> it must be attentively and with love, with deep love. In fact, it is said, so much love that tears come to the eyes. Not artificially, automatically. Just calling on the name of God with so much strong desire to serve God, with so much love, that one automatically finds tears appearing in the eyes. And of course, uh, we must have the right intention. Uh, of course, we may have other intentions also, but we will get the result of our zikr. We will get the result of chanting the names of God according to our intention. If our intention is to chant the names of God in order to become famous or in order to get money or in order to get cured of some disease, then we will get those results also. But that's not the real purpose. The only intention in chanting the names of God should be, Oh God, please let me serve you. That is the real intention. That is the best intention that gives the best result. <laughs> the best result is serving God and all of God's creation. There's no separation. You cannot serve God without serving God's creation. You cannot serve God's creation without serving God. So <clears throat> that's all I wanted to say. And I wanted to do a little zikr. I have often said, uh, you can chant any name of God in any language. It doesn't matter. Um, my favorite, not the only ones, I have so many favorite names of God, but I have been guided to especially five names of God that I recite regularly. Allah, 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 Allah. And Toini. Toini, 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 toini. And Adonai. Adonai, 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 Adonai. And Ram. Ram, 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 Ram. And finally, Hikum ka, 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 Hikum ka. So we can chant any names of God. 
I especially chant those five names of God every day and others also, but you can choose whatever names of God appeal to you, whatever vibrate in your heart and produce a wonderful feeling of nearness to God and feeling of desire to serve uh, those names of God you may chant. <laughs> no restriction. <laughs> okay, let us see what comments or questions we may have. I'm not going to read all the comments. We will see if there is any particular reference to what we're talking about today. Uh, Shaz Kilji says, Beshak. I think that's what he means. It Beshak, but Beshak means, I think, <laughs> that's what you're saying. Beshak means without any doubt, certainly. Chanting the names of God is the solution to every problem. Mahmoud Al-Haq says, Wa salam alaykum wa barakatuh. Thank you very much. He is returning the salam, the peace. And Sarah Rana says, yes, zikr is better. Uh, zikr is better than backbiting, maybe you mean? <laughs> zikr is better than to spread hate. <laughs> yes. Not only zikr is better than backbiting, zikr is the way to free yourself from backbiting. <laughs> Whenever you think something bad about somebody else and you want to say it, you want to tell it to somebody, just do zikr. <laughs> and that desire will be removed from your heart. And a zikr is better uh, than spreading hate. And zikr is the way to end hate. So whenever we feel some hatred idea, hating idea, anger and hate against somebody, we should do zikr. And that hate will be removed from our heart. Thank you very much. Hamna Hashmi says, I do tasbi of inna ilaha in hard times. Very good. Inna ilaha. We can do so many different tasbis. Uh, another most important <laughs> tasbi is subhanullah, 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 33 times. And Alhamdulillah, 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 33 times. And Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, 34 times. Tasbih Fatima. Very, very good zikr. So there are many, many prayers. So that's very good. Tasbih that you do also. Congratulations. <laughs> Khurram Khan says, May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you. And all the humanity, thank you very much for your prayers. And yes, let us pray that Allah will bless all of us and all of humanity. Very good. And all of creation. <laughs> there are human-like beings on other planets also, not only <laughs> our humanity on our planet. So all of creation, all the servants of God throughout all the universes, <laughs> we can pray that Allah may bless them all. Iftikhar Ahmed says, Babaji, according to your spiritual practices, what method of zikr is more beneficial? <clears throat> well, <clears throat> I, according to my spiritual practices, I think I would say that different people have different methods that are good for them. So, my Practice for a long time has been reciting names of God in different languages together, um, as I just did. Uh, I find very, very special benefit and potency in that because it not only blesses us, it not only helps us, it not only purifies our heart, it not only inspires us and enlivens us to serve God, as all zikr does, and it enlivens us to serve all of God's creation, 
But when we recite the names of God in different languages from different religious traditions, that also brings about love and harmony between the different religions, which is the way to world peace. So um, I guess that's the only thing in my spiritual practice, the method of zikr that's more beneficial. If we want to work for world peace, then we should chant the names of God in different languages together. And I've specifically been told that when the people of Pakistan, especially the Muslims and Sikhs, together call on the name of Allah, 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 and the name of Waheguru, Ikkum Ka, Ikkum Ka, Ikkum Ka, or any names of Allah in Arabic, according to the Muslim teachings, and in Punjabi, according to the Sikh teachings, if people come together and chant, that will be extremely powerful, extremely beneficial, and very quickly will solve all problems and bring us closer together in love and harmony and bring peace on earth. And also specifically, actually the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he told me this personally in uh, 2019, yes, it was just last year. In 2017, I also had his audience and he said that that time he specifically mentioned Muslims and Sikhs together, as I just said. But in 2019, just last year, in September, I think it was, he specifically said he was very, very happy. <laughs> he was actually laughing happily. He said, when the Muslims and Jews come together, do zikr together, in the Masjid al-Aqsa, and when the Jews begin praying namaz along with the Muslims, and when the Muslims begin reciting the Hebrew prayers, the Jewish prayers, along with the Jews, that will lead to love and harmony, unity, and that will lead to world peace. The end of all of the hatred and persecution and the tremendous injustices that have been committed against the Palestinian people, that will all be solved by this method of the Jews and Muslims and Christians and Druze, people of all, all religions, when they come together in the Masjid al-Aqsa in Jerusalem and pray together and do zikr together, that will end all of that zulm, all of that horrible atrocities that have been committed in that holy place, that holy area. All of Israel, Palestine is a holy land. Uh, when that practice is adopted, especially by Jews and Muslims together, uh, all those, that is the real solution. <laughs> to the Palestine, Palestinian and Israeli struggles fighting against each other. The fighting will end, and they will come together in love and peace by zikr, zikr. <laughs> so that is very, very important. People of different religions come together, calling on the names of God according to their different traditions, and that will bring about unity and love and peace. And also in America, especially in Alabama, when the Muslims and Christians come together, and others also, Jews or whoever, uh, but especially when the Muslims and the Christians in Alabama come together, <laughs> that will also lead to love and peace and unity, not only there, but throughout America and throughout the world. These three spots, there may be others, I'm sure there are others also, but these three have been pointed out to me. So let the people of Pakistan, especially the Muslims and Sikhs, come together and pray and do zikr together according to their own languages, their own religious teachings. And let the Jews and Muslims uh, and Christians and others come together in Israel, Palestine, in Jerusalem especially, in Al-Aqsa Masjid especially, and recite the prayers and do zikr together. <laughs> and in United States, especially in Alabama, because Alabama in Persian means God is with us, so that's a very special place too. So in Alabama also, let the Muslims and Christians especially, and Jews and Hindus and Buddhists <laughs> and everyone, come together, calling on the names of God according to their different languages and their different traditions. And this will lead to world peace. So... 
the most beneficial type of zikr according to my spiritual practices is to recite the names of God from different religious traditions in different languages together. It is very, very beneficial, very powerful, not only for us individually, but for bringing the world together in harmony and peace. <laughs> Thank you for that very good question, Iftikhar Ahmad Zaib. Sarah Rana says, yes, when I call to Almighty Allah with core wholeheartedly, my eyes are wet. Yes, that actually happens. If we really are sincerely calling out just like baby crying for its mother. When a baby calls out, crying, tears, <laughs> screaming. <laughs> so our heart must be so much filled with desire, desire to serve God and desire to praise God and to desire to appreciate the mercies of God, then automatically eyes will become wet, tears will come. M. Zahid Chaudhuri, sir, please pray for us. Yes, we certainly will. Sararana says, we can spread peace and love in all over the world through zikr. Ah, thank you very much. Wonderful, wonderful statement, yes. This is the way to world peace, zikr. Especially people of different religions and different languages saying the names of God according to their own experience and their own traditions own languages together. That will bring world peace. Thank you very much. Atta al-Mustafa says, falling in love with you. Yes, we should all fall in love with each other. We should all. <laughs> and if we love the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and the Holy Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, Yeshua, and the Holy Prophet Musa, Islam, if we recite their holy names and we uh, fall in love with them by hearing about their wonderful activities automatically. If we just read about their life stories, uh, we will fall in love with them. So we will fall in love with the Holy Prophets and that will lead us all automatically to fall in love with each other also. <laughs> so that is, we all want to fall in love. It's wonderful to fall in love. <laughs> so the best falling in love is to fall in love with the saints and prophets of God. And that will purify our hearts. And then we will fall in love with everyone. <laughs> okay, Khurram Khan says, When all the religions guide for peace, then why humans are so restless? How to unite humanity? <laughs> it's because of Satan, <laughs> Shaitan. <laughs> the enemies of God, led by the personality who's known by the name of Satan or Shaitan, or Iblis, or Lucifer, um, they are constantly active, trying to create disunity, trying to create, illu if, um, what is the right word, trying to create forgetfulness of God, try to absorb people into materiality and forget the spiritual dimension. Uh, it's because of their work. And they have been given permission by God to do that work for some time, although that time is now ending. <laughs> so uh, why is this? Why are people so restless? It's because we are being misled from the teachings of God by these satanic forces, manifesting in many ways in the world media, <laughs> educational systems, <laughs> and on the TV and in the Internet. So many satanic forces are very, very active lead us away from the truth, lead us away from love and peace. So it's a struggle. This struggle is going on right now. <laughs> so how to unite humanity? Zikr. <laughs> Zikr is the solution to all problems, the medicine for all diseases. <laughs> Sanam Shabir says, Assalamu alaikum, sir. I am Shabir Ahmed from Kashmir, Indian occupied. Pray for me, for my Sufi path. I want to see you in my dreams. Uh, well, I don't know if there's any benefit to see me in your dreams, <laughs> but uh, I certainly pray for you and for all people of Kashmir in Indian occupied Kashmir. People are suffering greatly, but that is under God's control. God does not lose control just because some zalims, <laughs> some treacherous people <laughs> commit so many atrocities against you. God is still in control. So... Be happy, 
call on the names of God, remember God, God is all-powerful, God can do anything He wants, so He can also uh, give you what you want. If you have good desires, Allah will fulfill your desires. So, let us pray for the people of occupied, Indian occupied Kashmir especially. Oh Allah, protect your servants there. Make them happy. Make them kind and loving because it is destined. Kashmir is destined. Baise nafrat nahi, balke baise muhabbat. I was told that more than 20 years ago by a great Sufi saint that Kashmir will become the cause of love. Not the cause of hatred as it has been in the past, but it will become the cause of love. And Kashmir will again become the most beautiful place, holy place in the world where people come together in love. And all of this hatred and all of this horrible atrocities that have been going on in Kashmir that is simply paving the way for Kashmir to become the emblem of love. <laughs> so, be happy. It is coming, inshallah, not very long. <laughs> Munir Ahmed says, Baba Ji, Assalamu Alaikum Baba Ji, Aap Wasif Ali Wasif Sahib ko jante hain. He is a great Sufi. Haan, unse mila bhi tha. I met him in the early 1980s, or mid-1980s, in Lahore. And we had some nice talks. <laughs> very wonderful person, yes. Sarah Rana says, Zikr give us power. Yes, Zikr does. Empower us. Khurram Khan says, Have you been teaching in FC College Lahore? Why did you leave then? I uh, was teaching at FC College in Lahore. 2004, I started some working on the curriculum. In 2005, 2006, I was teaching there. Um, but I had my responsibilities here in America that I had to return to. Um, Rabia Awan says, Assalamu alaikum wa alaikum salam, Rabia Ji. I love your name because my favorite, not only one, but my favorite poet, Sufi poet, along with Rumi, <laughs> Ramatullah has Rumi Sahib, is Rabia Basri. So I love your name. <laughs> I'm very happy to see the name of Rabia. She was the most wonderful Sufi poet who loved so much, loved Allah so much. She said, uh, I do not want to go to heaven. <laughs> I do not want to avoid hell. <laughs> because sometimes people want to go to heaven to enjoy the benefits of heaven. She said, I don't want to go to heaven to enjoy the benefits of heaven. I don't want to go avoid hell to avoid the torments and suffering in hell. I simply want to serve you. Heaven or hell, no difference. <laughs> Because even in hell we can call on the name of God and serve God and help the people in hell <laughs> turn to God. And even in heaven we can forget God if we become <laughs> so absorbed in the happiness, <laughs> pleasures there. <laughs> so better follow the example of the great Sufi poetess Rabia of Basra. Okay, Kaleem Khan says, Bismillah, Salaam Alaikum Janab. Wa Alaikum Salaam Ji. Sarah Rana says, Zikr is the source of unity in all over the world among all religions. Yes, thank you very much. Farhat Naseem says, Salaam Alaikum. Why Almighty has created Satan? Oh, very good question. <laughs> Well, one reason, there may be more than one reason, but one reason is to test us. Unless we have an enemy, and unless there is a big struggle against the enemy, how can there be a great victory? So the more powerful the enemy is, the more glorious the victory is. So therefore, Allah Pak has created Satan very powerful. <laughs> so we can struggle, and we can take shelter of God in the name of God. And then we can conquer over the satanic forces. <laughs> so that's one reason. I'm sure there are others also. But <laughs> Rabia Awan says, When will you come in Pak, Chacha Ji? I don't know. I actually was coming just a year ago, over a year ago now. Uh, I had my ticket even. 
when was it? I don't remember the exact date, but I think it was October, end of September or October of last year. I had purchased my ticket, I had my visa. No, not last year, this year. Last year also, actually, I had bought a ticket in October of 2019 to go to Pakistan, and then somehow I couldn't go. I got my visa then, and then my visa was for two years, so then this October also, I think it was October or September, I had bought my ticket again on Turkish Airways to fly to Karachi, <laughs> and I told everyone on my Facebook page that I'm coming. So uh, it didn't happen. I somehow was overruled. My plans were changed by higher forces. So let's see, what time is it? Oh, it's 7 o'clock, I see. So I think I'm going to end soon. Maybe it should end. <laughs> I don't know. So I don't know when I'm coming now. I'm sorry. I, but I will announce it here on my Facebook live chats when I am coming. Sviti Prazi says, Amin for the people of Kashmir. Yes, let us all remember and pray for the people of Kashmir. Okay, Farhat Naseem, is shaitan is programmed to be bad because God wants to test humans? Oh, so you, <laughs> I think you also gave, gave the answer to the question you had asked. Uh, yes, God wants to test us. Vasi Ahmed, I am from Wisconsin, currently stuck in Pak because of COVID-19. Okay, good, no problem. Okay, M. Zahid, Muhammad Zahid Chaudhary Sahib says, Brother, if you read the Rood Ibrahimi, as mixmum with being in Wahu, you will find solutions of all problems, inshallah. Yes, I recite the Sharifi Ibrahimi every day, many times, not only in namaz, I do say in namaz also, but uh, separately also, at least several times every day. It's very, very wonderful, wonderful, wonderful prayer. And I may note, <laughs> since we were just talking about peace and love between the Jews and Muslims in Palestine, Israel, uh, this Durud Ibrahimi is prayer for the Jews also. We pray for Muslims, for peace be upon Holy Prophet of Islam, Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa and all of his followers and family members, his descendants, all Muslims, his believers, and for the Holy Prophet Abraham, peace be on him, and his followers and descendants, that means the Jews. <laughs> so yes, we are praying. And God is especially happy when the Muslims and Jews come together and pray for each other and pray together. <laughs> so we do it when we read the Darud Ibrahimi. Very good. It definitely uh, will bring solution to all problems of the world, world peace and Happiness and progress. Okay, Babu Ali Asad says, "Kaise hain? Khub surat Baba ji, main bilkul thik thak hoon. Wala ka shukar hai." He's asking how I'm. I'm fine, thank you. Munir Ahmed says, "Baba ji, American President Khan ho banega? Sadar Trump fir sadar banega? Mere koi shak nahi hai." Itni fraud kiya gaya tha is in this election me. Lekin abhi wo hakikat nikal raha hai. Sab ko pata chal raha hai ke kitna fraud kiya gaya tha Sadr Trump ke khilaf. Kam se kam lakhun millions millions of votes jo Sadr Trump ke liye diya gaya tha usko flip kiya gaya, usko ulta kiya gaya or jo Biden ko diya gaya tha तो अभी ये पता चल रहा है तो मेरा कोई शक नहीं है कि सदर ट्रंप फिर सदर बनेगा अमेरिका का और ये नाम नहाद प्रेसिडेंट इलेक्ट प्रेसिडेंट इलेक्ट नहीं है जो बाइडेन जो बहुत बड़ा जालिम बहुत फ्रॉड उन्होंने किया 
बहुत ब्राइब्स उन्होंने लिया बहुत रिश्वत खाया बिलियंस बिलियंस मिलियंस ने बिलियंस ऑफ डॉलर्स उसने उसके खानदान ने ब्राइब्स खाया रिश्वत खाया तो उसको वो प्रेसिडेंट नहीं बनेगा वो उसको जेल में डाला जाए बस ये अहमद माय प्लेन हैज बीन कैंसिल थ्री टाइम्स नाउ ठीक है फिक्र नहीं करो ये अल्लाह के हाथ में है आपके फायदे के लिए है कि आप पाकिस्तान में शायद मालिक से आप उर्दू बोलते हुए अच्छे लगते लगते इसलिए उर्दू में बात करो करूंगा आप कह रहे हैं दुनिया में अमन इस वक्त आएगा या उस वक्त आएगा जब मुसलमान यहूदी के साथ मस्जिद अक्सा में इकट्ठे इबादत करेंगे मगर कुरान में लिखा है तुम जहां भी हो हम्म ये बहुत लंब लंबी बात है कुरान में लिखा है तुम जहां भी हो मस्जिद हराम की तरफ मुंह कर लिया करो और सुदा बकरा की आयत सुरा बकरा की आयत 145 में लिखा है तुम अहले किताब के पास तो काम निशान के पास अच्छा तमाम निशानिया ने आओ तो भी तुम्हारे किबले की पूरी प्योर प्योर भी न करें तुम भी इनके किबले के पैर भी करने वाले नहीं फिर इकट्ठे इकट्ठी अकट, इबादत कैसी मुमकिन है ओ अच्छा बहुत अच्छा सवाल है तो उस जमाने में जब हजूरी पाक सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम मौजूद थे मदीना में मक्का में तो यहूदी ज्यादातर सब ने लेकिन ज्यादातर सब वो बड़े सख्त दुश्मन थे मुसलमानों के तो उस जमाने में ये नहीं मुमकिन था जो अभी मुमकिन है टाइम के मुताबिक ये सब कुछ है ये मेरा जवाब है आपका सवाल का <laughs> तो अभी सिर्फ मुमकिन नहीं बल्कि लाजम लाजमी है कि मुसलमान और यहूदी मिलकर इबादत करें इसके बगैर इसराइल फलस्तीन में अमन नहीं हो सकता है बल्कि ये जुल्म बढ़ते रहेंगे अमन नहीं आएगा लेकिन मुसलमानों और यहूदियों के मिलकर इबादत करने से टाइम मुख्तलिफ होते हैं उस वक्त नामुमकिन था अभी मुमकिन है यह जवाब है मेरा आपका सवाल का फरत नसीम वट विल है डेथ एज सोल नेवर डाइज वट विल है टू देर सोल्स आई डोंट नो नेवर स्टडी डेट Good question. <laughs> okay, Rabbi Awan, would Park accept Israel eventually? Yes, definitely. That is Hazrat. I shouldn't say this, perhaps, but <laughs> Hazrat Khazar Ali Islam has uh, made this plan. The Pakistan and Israel will have relations. All Muslim countries will develop 
political relations with with uh, Israel. Uh, and without that, there won't be peace. So you will have to do that. <laughs> but in the right way, in the right time, not artificially. If you just suddenly do it and don't guarantee the protection of the Palestinian people, that won't be very good. But when the Jews and the Muslims come together in Israel, Palestine, uh, in love, and unity, it may seem impossible, but when that happens, then Pakistan and all the Muslim countries will accept Israel, definitely. Because it's also a holy place. <laughs> it's also a holy country. It's the Saleh <laughs> al-Ibrahim. Well, Allah Ibrahim, we are praying for peace for the Jews. <laughs> so, yes, there will be, inshallah. Okay, Sarah Rana says, Zikr provides contentment. Yes, very good. Okay, Muhammad Ali Khan, where are now? I am now in California. Said the Begum Slam, Sergi, how are you? I am very fine, thank you. I'm very happy. <laughs> Nasir Ali, are you still a member of Nation of Islam? I was never a member of the Nation of Islam. In fact, I don't think white people are allowed to become members of the Nation of Islam. Okay, thank you all very, very much. And please be happy and do zikr. And zikr will solve all the problems of the world. Allah Hafiz. May God protect us all.